an example of um, a reusable paper that has not been written on. And this is a test picture that we use in the lab to do our experiments. So it has a light source for the ultraviolet light and it has a heating source as well. with now you have an image uh, that you can uh, read, you can use for a little while, and then when you're done with that image, you can erase it. So here I have a heating system. Um, you can come closer if you want. Uh, so we have slowed down the, uh, the rate at which we erase so that you guys can see it fading away, but we can e even erase it faster than you can see right now. So you can see that some of the areas are not erasing as fast, mainly because these are test pictures, the paper is not flat. But once we have the paper flat, everything should all erase at the same rate. Okay. So now when you pull that down, you have the same paper that you started with, that you can now reuse as many times, up to about 50 times, with our tests in the lab. Mm -hmm. So these are test fixtures that we have in the lab. Once it's all done, it's going to just be a printer like that one there. Uh, so wh when you are finished with your, with your uh, document, the, you put it in a tray. And then when you hit the print button to print another image, it's going to be erased and then it prints. So it's all in one. I think it will make a sig significant impact because people still do like to print, people love paper, but now there's the guilt of, as I showed you, you need a, lo a lot of energy goes into making paper, so it's like, oh well, um, you know, we're cutting all these trees, so now people can print knowing, okay, if I can reuse this paper many times, then I feel like I'm doing something for the environment. Uh, recycling paper still needs quite a significant amount of energy. Uh, and you know you only use it once and then you still need energy to recycle that paper but with this one uh, you can use it so many times and it does not need that much energy at all to erase it.